Hello, my darling. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> Happy Wednesday. So if you're watching the replay, please let me know that you're watching the replay. I would love to know if you caught this on replay. So if we haven't met, I'm Erica Champion Wise. I'm an elite fashionista in paparazzi accessories and I love what I get to do and we need to talk. I know those are like the scariest words that a girl can ever tell you, but girl, we gotta talk. We've got to talk about what I do. We've got to talk about you doing what I do. We have to, we absolutely have to talk about this. I love what I get to do. I love getting to show up every day and work my business. I sell $5 jewelry. Listen, you wear this and no one's going to believe it was only $5. I've been wearing this nonstop since I got it in my box because it is now officially, officially my new favorite. It has gone above my pearls and I'm a big pearl girl. So this is officially my favorite necklace at the moment. So if you see it like every day for the rest of my life, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I'm waiting for a ring to come that matches it because that's how I roll. Um, I sell $5 jewelry and I teach women and men how to find financial freedom in a direct sales business. Paparazzi is a direct sales business, but don't let that scare you. Don't let your, your fear mongering friends who are like, oh my God, it's a pyramid. Don't let them talk to you like that, girl. Get you some better friends, okay? It's not a pyramid. That's not really how this works because a pyramid means that it's static and that no one can pass anyone else. Listen, let me tell you the kind of upland that I am. I am ready because I've got one who's gone past me. Uh, she's gonna pass me. I'm like doing everything I can to get her to pass me. I have got my pom-poms ready. She doesn't know it, but I really do have pom-poms. <laughs> I am ready for this girl to pass me. I am so absolutely excited for her to pass me. And that's what sets us apart because in a pyramid, no one can pass you. But in paparazzi, girl, we celebrate. Come on, do it. Make it, ma make magic happen. Because I know it's changing her life because I know it is, it is what she enjoys and it is what she loves to do. And I just, I'm thrilled to even get to play a part in that and to get to know her as she enjoys this journey. I mean, I can't wait. That really wasn't what I was talking about today but <laughs> she knows who she is I'm not gonna call her by name but I'm ready I'm ready girl I'm ready what can I do to get you there and I know I'm so excited for her she's amazing but that's the kind of upline that I am my joy comes in seeing my people succeed my joy comes in watching the women that I am privileged to know and mentor meet their goals, exceed their goals, scare themselves because they do such a dang good job. That brings me more joy than I can even begin to explain to you. I mean, I just, I can't believe, I can't even begin to explain to that. It's maybe it's like a parent with a kid when they do a good job. I don't know. I love it. I love watching my team succeed. I love it sometimes more than my own stuff. And I'm also the kind of upline that teaches. Oh my gosh, I love to teach. I was born to teach. I was given the gift of education and the training as an educator and I love to teach and I love to train. And so my for my friends who've been in direct sales before and maybe didn't have an upline who was teaching, maybe didn't have an upline who was training. Me, I love it. I love it so much that every week when I'm not having surgery or evacuating for a hurricane um, the last two weeks uh, every week I do a public training I love it so much I love training I do a public training for anyone who wants to watch I just enjoy it so much and I create YouTube videos all the time and I daily I train my team when I'm able to talk this is getting better but it's still very sore I had a oral surgery last week it was a week ago today it's still very sore but I love what I get to do and I love cheering my team on. I love cheering on other people. I was, I was born to do this and it is such a joy for me. I love, I won't call this one by name either, but I love getting those messages when the light bulb turns on. I got one last week from someone who was just like, this is working. This is working. She's done other direct sales before. I remember that moment for myself when I was like, 
this is working. I remember that moment. I remember the time when I looked around and I was like, I don't know what to do here, but this business is working for me because I had failed so many others. And I'm looking at you right now because you have failed so many others, because you have given up so many others, because you've tried and quit so many others. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to the woman who is like, I'm done with direct sales. I tried. I lost too much money. But in the back of her head, she knows this is where millionaires are made. I'm talking to you. I want you to have that moment where you just kind of like, it just comes out of the blue and smacks you and you stand there like, this is working. I'm talking to you. I'm looking at you. I want you to have that moment. But you got to come and do this. You've got to give this a shot. You've got to give this a try. Don't tell me it's saturated. It's not. I still go to events all the time. I was an event two weekends ago before all the things that went crazy in my life. And I had people and I was like, hi, hello, this is paparazzi. Everything's $5. And they're like, what's paparazzi? I stopped counting when I got to 13 because it was just like, oh my gosh, 13 people walked by my booth and I spoke to them and they're like, what's paparazzi? And I'm going, oh, oh my gosh, in my town. And there's a lot of people who sell paparazzi in my town. There's a lot of people who sell paparazzi in my town. We are nowhere near saturated. And even if we were, here's the beautiful thing. We don't have catalogs. We don't have catalogs. When I sold skincare before this, we all had catalogs and there were like 200 products in there and that's all we had. We couldn't deviate from that. We couldn't get anything extra. It was what was in the book. We don't have books here. And so if you look at my wall, this is just like 14 pieces here of the few thousand that I have. You will see pieces there that you haven't seen before. You will see pieces there that someone else has already sold out of. You will see pieces there that someone else did not choose to order. And that is the most exciting thing for me in paparazzi is that there, we, can, we cannot be saturated. We cannot be saturated. A couple of my teammates live within two miles of me and I've seen their inventory and it doesn't look anything like mine. It's amazing. We cannot be saturated because I'm going to have different things that my customers love and the next person's going to have different things that my customers are like, uh-uh, that ain't for me. And it's okay. I pick and choose what I order based on what I know my customers will love. Sometimes I push them out of their comfort zones and try to get them to try new things, but they always go back to their old favorites. I don't know why. <laughs> and you will get to learn your customers too. It's incredible. Our customers become our friends. So I'm going to tell you what, when I first started this, and I've been a consultant almost six years, which is insane. I've been a consultant that long. I have five years and I'll be six in November. It's just incredible. When I first started this, my friends and family, I love them, but they didn't support me. And it's because I had done everything under the sun. This is my seventh company. And I did not need to, nor did I have to rely on my friends and family circle because it is five dollars show it and they will buy it and so if you're worried oh my friends and family are just done supporting me because i have so if it can be sold i have sold it it's okay we got this beautiful thing called social media we make new friends all the time that's how i i mean geez that's my mother i love her has had one party for me in five and a half almost six years one party my mother one party and my mother's my biggest fan talk to my mom just about every day one party in six years. And so I want you to, to let that fear of what if my friends and family don't support me go. What if they don't? What if they don't? That means you get to be creative. That means you get to think outside the box. That means you get to look at other options and you get to find other ways to sell. And then I'm going to tell you what. Those strangers who become customers soon become some of your closest friends. As we were evacuating through this hurricane, those customers who are my friends, who were previously strangers, were the ones praying some of the hardest prayers for us. They were the ones checking on us some of the most, most of the time. That came out bad, but do you know what I mean there? Those previous strangers became customers, became people that I love and care about and who love me in return. And we met over the internet because of $5 jewelry. 
I'm going to tell you what, you don't have to sign up all your sisters. You don't have to sign up your aunt. You don't have to sign up your sisters-in-law. It's not a requirement. I'm going to tell you what, I don't have a sister. I have one sister-in-law and one to be. My youngest brother is getting married sometime. And they're not consultants either. I didn't sign up my mother. I didn't sign up my grandmother. Most everyone who has joined my team has been a stranger. My sorority sisters will tell you I didn't track them down and make them sign up. You don't have to do that. The most exciting thing about paparazzi is that it draws in people from all walks of life. You can sign up your mother. You can sign up your sisters. You can sign up your sisters-in-law. You can sign up your Greek friends. 100%. Yes, you can. And I encourage that. But it's not like if you don't have that network, you can't do this. I have that network. And I didn't chase anyone to do this. And I'm still elite. So I want you to not be afraid and say, well, I don't know anybody. You do. They just haven't met you yet. They're just strangers for the moment. And those strangers will become some of your best friends. I can't even tell you how many, oh, all of my team, almost all of my team have been total and complete strangers that I've met online. And they've become the people I talk to the most. The ones that I lean on the hardest. The ones who carry me on the worst days and the ones that I get to carry on their worst days. And there's a difference in team-wise. We may not be the biggest team. We're, we're not the number one ranked team. And we may never be. But that's not what we're here to do. We're here to love one another back to life. That is my, my calling, my purpose, is to empower and inspire women. I am called, I am divinely called, I am divinely gifted oh, to, to love a woman enough to pour into her. I believe and I teach my team and I tell anyone who's sitting still long enough that if you empower the woman, the business will come. And I tell my team that all the time. They think I'm crazy. They ask me, Erica, what do I do? I can't. I'm like, you need to work on yourself. That's where it starts. And I live that and I believe that and I teach that. And anyone on Team Wise will tell you that that's where we start. We don't start with the business. We start, I start with the woman. And that may be a little different than a lot of other people. It may be a little backwards to some people, but that's what I'm called to do. You know, my Heavenly Father gave me that responsibility and he knew what he was doing when he gave it to me because it fires me up. If you can't tell, I am fired up. I love, don't cry. I can't cry because I can't sniff, it hurts. I love getting to love other people. <laughs> I love getting to love other people. I know that may sound crazy, but I love getting to love other people. And sometimes love comes out as a kick in the butt and to tell you to get back to work. But I love people enough to tell them the truth and not sugarcoat it. I am fierce, but I am fiercely in, fierce in love. I love fiercely. That's what I'm looking for. I love fiercely. I love strong. I love 100% all out. My emotions are on my sleeve, but it is my joy to love a person. And I see so often, so many people in our industry become numbers. It is my endeavor to never let someone become a number. I don't always succeed. I am just as human as the rest of us. I still have days where it's overwhelming and I can't do it all. But I endeavor. I set out to let every person know they're important. To let every person know that at least I love them. Even if I have to be harsh with them. Even if I have to be straight with them. It's enough of a love in me to tell them what they need to hear, not what they want to hear. And that doesn't always go over well. Some people I really piss off, but it's still done in love. And I endeavor to make my team, everyone, and I've got a lot of teammates, feel loved.
And that is important to me. And that is unique to me. And that may be what sets me apart, that it is my calling. And that is what I'm here for. If you And if you're talking to me, I've got the comments turned off because I have a squirrel brain. <laughs> and I have an extra squirrely brain right now because I don't know what I'm doing. And I, it's just, it's just, I get so caught up in this one because it is so important to me to, to make sure people know they're important. Mm, I can't do that. I can't do that. That hurts. <laughs> I love what I get to do. Guys, I have no notes here. I have no script. I'm talking off the cuff here. I love what I get to do. And I, I'm fairly certain that it shows. I'm pretty sure that it shows. And I love what I get to do because it lets me do what I'm good at. I have my gifts. I have my talents. My gifts and talents are in teaching and in, in helping other people and inspiring other people. I love that. I am so good at that. This is where I belong because I get to use my talents. And I hope that you know what your talents are. I hope you know where your talents are. And if you don't, we gotta find them. Because anyone can use his or her talents in this business. If you love to sell, sell. If selling is not your thing, it's not the end of the world. I'm not the best salesperson out there. My numbers will prove that. Do I sell? You bet. But I sell because it makes someone else happy. I know how jewelry makes you feel. The day Ah, it was almost a week since I had worn jewelry before my surgery and then after my surgery because I couldn't because I was in so much pain. And the day I put these on and, and took that picture, I cried because I felt pretty. And I hadn't felt pretty in over a week. I know the power of jewelry and I know the power of how jewelry makes a person feel and I know how something as seemingly stupid as a piece of five dollar jewelry can change someone's day and I know that my lives where we're chit chatting and we're talking and if Solomon's in here and we're goofing off I know the power of those lives and I know that those lives bring joy to people that's why I sell I'm never gonna sell the most jewelry in paparazzi and I don't have to. And I don't want you to feel like you have to be the number one salesperson in order to be good here. Maybe you have a different calling. I know my sales where we're selling jewelry, I'm still empowering people. I know I'm still living my purpose even as I sell jewelry. And that for me is important. And that for me is my calling. And so maybe you won't ever be the number one salesperson, but why do you have to be? What if that's not your gift? What if your gift is in another area and it will be accented by your sales? Because I hear you, I hear you saying, but I can't sell. So what? You can still do something amazing. You can still live your purpose through $5 jewelry. This is my company's mission statement. It says at the very bottom, let me flip this so you can see it. Not that, that one. It says at the very bottom, $5 jewelry may not change the world, but we believe that those who wear it will, will, it doesn't say those who sell it. It doesn't say the one who sells the most. It doesn't say the number one person. No, it says those who wear it will change the world. Your calling will change the world. And what if you get to live your calling through selling something as simple as $5 jewelry? I'm not here to be the number one salesperson. I'm here to empower women. I'm here to love women. I'm here to make a woman feel important and to feel special and to feel like she matters, to give her a place where she belongs, to give her a place where she can use her talents. And $5 jewelry has let me do that. I'm changing the world. 
five dollars at a time. And I don't have to be number one. I don't have to be the top. I just have to be Erica. And I wanna tell you, maybe the reason you're not joining is because you're afraid you won't be number one. Who the heck says you have to be? Nobody. But you can change the world. And $5 jewelry can be your platform. $5 jewelry can be the stage you stand on to build your legacy. Whatever your legacy looks like, I want to leave a legacy of love. Even if it's tough love, it's still love. I want to leave a legacy of inspiring people. I want to leave a legacy of seeing people do better after they've met me. Want to be better. Want to do more. And $5 jewelry is my vehicle to do that. I don't know what you're called to do in life. I don't know what you want to do in life. And you may not know either. But I know it can be done here. I've seen countless women start 501c3s. I've seen, uh, here we go, I've seen a woman go to Kenya and give scholarships to people to continue their education. I have seen people give money to people in need. I have watched this platform of five, $5 jewelry allow people to live their callings. Yes, we sell jewelry and it is amazing and it is beautiful, but it is so big. It is so much more than that. And it gives us what we need to fulfill what we're here to do. You're here for a reason. If God woke you up this morning, your job's not done. If you're still breathing, your mission isn't finished. And I don't know what your mission is, but it's not done because you're still here. And you're, you've been wondering how you're gonna make it happen and you've been looking for a way to make it happen. What if this is your way? What if this is what you have been waiting for? What if this is where you build your foundation? What if this is where you make your money to provide wells in Africa? What if this is where you make your money to help slums in India? What if this is where you make your money to let you change the world? We gotta have the money to change the world sometimes. What if this is where you learn who you truly are? What if this is where you learn what you're here to do in life? Because prior to this, I didn't know. Prior to really digging into paparazzi, I had no idea why I was here. I knew I was here to teach. I knew that. I've known that since childhood. Making my brother sit through school in our playhouse outside. Okay? I've known that all my life. But I didn't know the true purpose for my life. I didn't know why I was here. I know now. And I live it. And I love it. So if you have no idea, maybe this is where you figure it out. Maybe this is where you grow personally and professionally so that you can understand what the heck you're here to do and why you're here. What purpose you have been given. I want to encourage you to think of this as more than just selling jewelry, as more than a side hustle. This can be your dream maker. This can be your dream maker. And you deserve, oh my God, you deserve to have all of your dreams come true. I want that for you. I beg of you. I beg of you to be brave enough to make your dreams absolutely come true. I can't tell you how badly I want that for you. To see you 
succeed. And so if you're afraid, let's talk. We can talk through your fears. If you have questions, let's talk. We can talk about this business. I will tell you the truth. I will love you enough to tell you the truth. If you're ready, let's go. Let's make your dreams come true. But you gotta start. You know, we, we gotta start somewhere. And it all starts with saying yes. It all starts with saying yes. Because this opportunity, it has changed my entire life. It has given me Erica again. It has shown me who Erica really is and what she's really here for. And you deserve that. You deserve to know who you are and why you're here. I wasn't going to cry. It hurts to cry, <laughs> but I'm, this is where we are. I get so emotional because this is so amazing. And I want you to have this. Oh, I want you to have this. I want you to have everything you want in life. And what if it all starts? What if it all starts with $5 jewelry? What if it starts with that? So why don't you come and get it? Why don't you just come and get everything you deserve?